So if you're a woman in perimenopause or menopause, you might be doubly stressing about the holidays. So you might be stressing about the traveling that you had to do because you've had panic attacks on airplanes. You might be stressing about all those additional things on your to-do list and how are you possibly gonna get it all done? You might be stressing simply because you've gotta be around those friends or family members that just, some of them just annoy you for no reason. Could just be menopause, stress and anxiety, but you know, you're just annoyed. So I get it, this holiday season can be super stressful because on top of managing all the normal menopause stuff that we gotta deal with, we gotta deal with holiday stress too. But I'm gonna share with you three creative, innovative ideas, probably that you've never thought of, three ways that you can handle, manage the holidays with joy, being feeling balanced, grounded, and relaxed. So if you don't know me, I'm Karen from Karen Yoga Life. I am a wellness coach and yoga teacher. So, so idea number one, plan an escape activity. Yes, pre-plan an escape activity. So this means, for example, if you've been around friends and family for a couple hours or maybe a day or two and you're just feeling overwhelmed, you're exhausted, you're stressed out, you just need some you time, you can do a couple different things. And I've done this many times. You could say, I need to go for a walk, go for a walk outside to get some fresh air, you know, go for a walk by yourself or with somebody that you're comfortable with and just get outside for a little while. You could do a calming yoga session, restorative yoga, or you could do some other type of yoga that you feel is right for you in that moment. You could also simply just go and have some alone time. Just go into your room, curl up with a book or you know a, a nice cozy blanket and just have some downtime, some alone time. So, but the idea here is to think ahead and plan some type of activity that will help you to get away from it all, help you to have some alone time, help you to have some me time. So I call this planning an escape activity. So idea number two is yes, you can delegate, you can outsource, you don't have to do it all. Give yourself permission this year to get some help. So this could mean paying somebody to come and clean your house or outsourcing some of the cooking instead of feeling like you gotta do the turkey or do everything yourself. You can outsource some of it. You can get it catered. You can even get a few dishes prepared by other people. You can have a potluck instead of doing it all yourself. So outsource some activities, delegate some of the things that you have to do. There are lots of ways that you can outsource, delegate all those things on your to-do list, including things like paying people to wrap your gifts for you or getting them wrapped in the store when you buy them. So that's idea number two, to outsource, delegate some of your activities. Idea number three that I bet you never thought of, this is my fave, have yourself a stress care toolkit or a stress care kit. This is something that you're gonna carry around with you all the time for when you need it. So my self care kit would have things like maybe a fan for those times when you're having a hot flash or a facial mist that you can spray yourself with in the middle of, you know, watching TV with the family when you're having a hot flash, or it could be having a small book of affirmations or a journal that you carry around with you where you can just read something positive, read some affirmations to help to remind you to just stay calm. It could be some lavender oil that you put on in the mornings to help keep yourself calm. It could be a healthy snack because sometimes when you're at a holiday function, you just don't even know when you're gonna eat and you're starving, which just makes everything worse. So you could have a healthy snack in your self-care kit, which for me would look like some of my homemade granola 
or my homemade trail mix. And if you want those recipes, leave me a comment and I'm happy to share my recipes for those things. So those are my three ideas for you to help you to manage your holiday stress and actually have a great time this holiday. So they are number one, planning an escape activity. Number two, outsourcing, delegating some of the things that you always do, but you're always like, why am I doing this every year? And then number three, having a self-care toolkit that you can take along with you while you're traveling, while you're at maybe staying with relatives or friends. So I hope you find these useful. I hope you find them helpful. I also have a men menopause self-care toolkit which you can download for free, which has additional resources for managing your menopause time. So you can just download that for free using the link provided. So I'd love to know if you find these helpful. I'd love to know how, if you have tips that you wanna share, please leave them in the comments and I will see you again soon. Thanks.